Is there a reason for this call other than to tell me what I already know? I was not aware I needed an excuse to contact my own father. You always have an angle. My time is precious. What do you want, son? Transfer, sir. The six months have come to pass and I have done my duty. After that affair with the slipgate, nobody leaves. On the contrary, father, unless you are intimidated by General McQuiggan. Don't be ridiculous. He's lint in my pocket. All the generals are sort of that Zachary Blake. Then you will have no objection to seeing to my transfer to somewhere closer to Georgia. Not to mention I feel unwelcome here. Come now, it's my understanding that General Blake is quite hospitable. Father, please. Then, my son, I have always wanted nothing but to keep you safe. To protect my own. That's why I got you out of that nasty prison post. But you've yet to prove yourself to me, son. And your country still needs you. Need I remind you that we have been running at 200% efficiency here since my arrival. I have worked these soldiers... In the ground, from what I hear, but you have a golden opportunity to be of service to your country, son. You understand that America is in a recession? The likes of which hasn't been seen in years. A war, an offensive, is best for the economy. I do not follow you, father. War with whom? This slipgate technology can save our good country millions, new industry, new means of transportation, new jobs, it's all good. But this alien that came through the gate, son, if there's one, there's many. They represent a threat to national security. The situation must be handled properly. Sergeant Maxwell was on site during that occurrence and does not share your view. I may not like him much, but he has good instincts. Opinion of Sergeant Lawrence Maxwell is laughable. General Blake supports his assertions, Father. And you will counter those assertions with a few skeletons in Maxwell's closet. Sir, some records have been sealed for five years now. Funny thing happens in a couple minutes, Ben. They are dumped into public records. Computer errors happen all the time. Seek and ye shall find. You almost ready, Sergeant? We've got 40 minutes. Morning, madam. Yes, I am aware. I don't know why we have to go through this shit again. I don't see why General McQuiggan just doesn't read the goddamn transcripts. Do you think our stories are gonna change? Maybe that's what he's hoping for. Sergeant? Nothing. Is your story gonna change? Why should it? I'll tell the truth as I did before. So what's so interesting out there? The view, my doc. Tell you the truth, it looks like a bunch of sand, rock, and dirt to me. I bet it looked the same a thousand years ago. Natural, untainted. I bet the sunlight hitting it wasn't so lethal either. Because there was actually an ozone layer. No radiation from botched nuclear power plants. Don't get deep on me, Sergeant. Not so early in the morning. The very air out there is offensive to breathe. From us belching filth into the sky for a hundred years. I don't think the Earth will tolerate us for much longer. I didn't know you were one of those environmentalists. Just a rational being, Murdoch. A rational being. That creature who came through the slipgate. Where do you suppose he was from? A place like ours? Or a place like that? A thousand years ago. Special attention to the parameter. No one in, no one out. At all costs. Use force if necessary. Then we should use our own discretion, Colonel. I would expect nothing less, Sergeant Major. Of course. I'm only looking forward to it, sir. Looking forward to what, may I ask? Terminating threats to security, sir. Well, aren't you the eager one? What's gotten into you, Sergeant Major? It's the implant, sir. It increases his enthusiasm. 
Enthusiasm is the word I'd use. And what of implants? I authorized no such thing. General McGregor ordered it. Took only a half hour. We all have them, sir. I think you should, too. Yes, it's wonderful. I've heard enough. General McQuiggan and I will have words. Until then, protect the area. He should have one, too. I demand an answer. Well, forget yourself, Colonel Raleigh. You're addressing a major general. Colonel Raleigh is upset, which is perfectly understandable. It was underhanded, General McQuiggan. Keep it up, Colonel. I'll have a relinquish of duty and rank. Can't stand in the way of progress. We're making efficient soldiers here. Wars of the past have been lost because of conscience, I say. Conscience. A soldier with a conscience is no good. Finds kill and unpleasant. Need strong, cold soldiers. Need them to be the coldest of the mild forever to reclaim my position as the main superpower of the world. It's all volunteer, Colonel, not mandatory. Certainly not for a ranking officer such as yourself, but I'd recommend you get one. No, thank you, General. The Colonel will come around. Do you sleep well at night, General McQuiggan? Tell me what's that supposed to mean? Assaulted by a Colonel and now Brigadier General. Highly irregular, you know. My apologies, General. I'm just curious as to what you say to these soldiers to get them to agree. Well, tell them it'll make them sharper. Tell them it'll make them better. The truth. But what do you say to their family? You can lock up the archive now, sir. Did you find what you were looking for, Major Oh, Pest? yes, I am mighty satisfied. <laughs>